Hey there, Tactile here, and welcome back to uh, another monthly guide. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Troll Invasion. Uh, this is a very simple mini game. There's no requirements or anything, so I'm going to ahead and just be doing a lab clip during this. Uh, first thing we're going to be doing is talking to Captain Jude here. I am going to recommend that everybody just does the fighting section. Uh, repairing is a possibility if you are trying to be a skiller or something like that. But if you are assuming you're not a skiller, just go ahead and start the fighting. Just for the sake of this video, I am going to be doing easy. If you are a higher level combat person, you can do hard. It basically just makes it a little bit shorter. It does not give you any extra rewards or anything, assuming that you make it to the end on both. The only difference is that easy does... Mm, no thank you, I don't want to remember that. Uh, easy does take a little bit longer. Now, a couple things I do want to mention about this. Uh, if you are to go ahead and lower this guy over here, there are some archers up on this wall. So, if you are a lower level combat, I would recommend just bringing them all the trolls over here. They will do some damage for you. That was the first type. Uh, it is a mountain troll. They are very easily killed. Uh, took me one hit to kill him. He uses very minor melee hits. Another thing to mention here, there is a supply table. Whenever you drink it, it does give you some adrenaline, it restores your life points to full, and it does restore some of your prayer points. So if you ever start getting low on uh, health or low on prayer, you can go ahead and use this. Obviously I'm using a lot uh, higher level gear, so it's not essential for me to be doing this. Uh, another thing I do want to mention is that Bone Crusher does work along with Demon Horn Necklace. They do drop some bones, so assuming that you are going to be wearing the Demon Horn Necklace or any variant of the Demon Horn Necklace, uh, I believe they do drop big bones, so you will need to at least have the Dragon Necklace. But assuming you have that, it will restore some of your prayer. So as you can see here, I'll be just using Soul Split through the entire thing. Now, you've probably been seeing this. This is the second type of enemy that you'll be seeing. Uh, the Troll Ranger. Uh, you have one special move that he uses where he winds up a giant boulder and then as soon as he releases it, wherever you're standing at that time, they will get hit for a pretty significant amount of damage. I'll go ahead and take this hit just so I can show you how much damage you get hit. Uh, I believe, there we go, it's about 1600 that hit, uh, I think it can hit up to 2000, very easily movable, or easy to move out of the way though, all you have to do is go ahead and click over to another square, I'm going to go ahead and kill this guy quickly, that way I can show you a couple other types. Uh, they do sometimes do a little cinematic of people jumping down, it really doesn't matter at all. I'm going to go ahead and cut to the next type of enemy. So, the next type of enemy that you're going to be encountering is a uh, poorly cooked Karambwa. Basically, these guys are poisonous and they will take away some of your uh, prayer as well as some of your health whenever they get close to you. As long as they're in melee distance, they will take away some of the prayer and some of your health. So, what I recommend doing is to just disregard them into until you get to the last little bit and then kill them. Uh, this guy you can see here, they quite often get stuck into this little crevice here. And if you don't recall from the original death, uh, the quest there, you do get damage whenever you run into that little crevice there. So I would recommend, I'm going to go ahead and drink up just to make sure I'm okay and I don't die. That would be a little bit embarrassing having to wait till next month to actually make this video. Uh, I do recommend using a ranged or mage weapon that way you can lure them out without having to take any damage that I happened to kill him very quickly so I didn't really have to worry about that but if you get if you do run in there with melee you will be taking quite a bit of damage uh, and that was on wave five that you're gonna have to be worrying about that uh, I'm just gonna continue on here for a little bit killing some of the enemies uh, and then I will hopefully come back when you got the next type of enemy. Okay, uh, so on wave 8, you're going to see your first troll general. 
troll generals are the exact same as the troll mountain trolls that you see quite often except that they do have the ability to hit about a thousand if you aren't careful uh, so I would recommend trying to kill them first before you kill anything else. They have very little health, so you can kill them rather quickly. Uh, you'll see that they start showing up on just about every wave after wave 8. Okay, so on wave 10 you are going to have the next type of enemy. It is the wizard. Uh, they will sometimes spawn this little 3x3 three three square of vines. Uh, whenever you run into those vines, they do do about uh, anywhere from 150 to 1500 damage, as you can see. Another ability that they have is to basically bring you over to them, and I think it reduces some of your defense. Uh, it's usually not that big of a deal, the defense amount, but they do uh, bring you over to them. So if they're standing in this little area, you can get dealt quite a bit of damage, because it does stun you for a couple seconds while they're doing that. Again, I will come back when I got the next type. Okay, so on wave 14, you're going to see your first dynamite. He is going to be essential to kill off as quickly as possible. I'm going to go ahead and let him get to this supply table just so you can see what happens. It actually blows up the supply table, so you can no longer use that potion. If you were relying on that potion to survive all 20 waves, you are basically screwed at that point. So make sure you at least tag him and try to kill him first. On wave 14, you're also going to see the first troll father. Uh, he does spawn, I believe it's three, yes, three troll runts as well. Now to kill these troll runts, uh, you can kill them, but you're also going to have to kill the father rather rapidly. I believe that you cannot actually kill uh, the runts unless if you want to hit them, unless if you are having the troll father already dead uh is if you don't want to hit them they do respawn all their health seeing as how i have such a powerful weapon right now i'm using tier 90 which is completely overpowered for this you can probably do it with tier 30 tier 40 um they do get one hit so they do die uh, i'm gonna continue on hopefully the next type will be showing up here in a couple seconds Okay, so on wave 17, you're going to have another dynamite. Uh, as you can see here, they do attack you instead of the supply table when the dynamite is down. So you're going to want to target that first, but you're also seeing your first summoner. The summoners do spawn a spirit, or a spirit creature. It's just another thing for you to kill. Obviously, with this being such a low level thing, it's very easy to kill them. Uh, but you do want to kill off the summoner first because they can continuously spawn these spirit creatures uh, So we're at wave 18 here. We do have another dynamite popping up You're gonna want to kill that off first assuming that you still have your supply table uh, I'm gonna start using soul split and eat up a little bit of food because I'm getting relatively low here uh, I'm gonna kill off the summoner and the wizard first. I Should be keeping this running the rest of the time just so that you can see the last couple. These are going to be the harder ones to kill. Luckily this Bunyip hasn't actually gotten on to me. So I can just disregard him. At this time you would should still have your supply table. So I would recommend eating up from that whenever you start getting below half. Just to make sure that the wizard doesn't take tear you away from it or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and kill off this Bunyip to w move it to wave 19. We are one away from finishing this up. Wave 19 is a rather easy one comparison. You just have to hit the Dynamite and the Wizard. Those are the only two really strong ones that you're going to have to worry about. And keep an eye on the Troll Ranger here. He is going to do a super move right there. Uh, now that we have the wizard already down, there's no chance of him accidentally stunning us while we are trying to kill this wave off. Again, like I said before, just totally disregard these poorly cooked Karamblas. They do not matter at all. You can kill them at the end, and it doesn't make any difference. Uh, again, I just dodging all the troll ranger attacks. They do very little damage, assuming that you don't get hit by their special. Uh... Again, I uh, just barely went in there, so I did take a little bit of damage from that. And that brings us up to wave 20. Now Cliff is the final boss. He is going to be using melee, magic, and ranged. 
I'm going to tank a couple of his abilities. Uh, this is his range attack. Wherever you're standing, when he first launches it, you're going to want to move out of the way. Otherwise, you take a lot of damage. Same as the rangers. All these boulders will deal damage to you. As you can see, he uses the range attack mostly. So you can dodge the majority of his damage just by moving out of the way. I believe if you hit one of these boulders, they still do deal damage. Uh, the mage attack is just a regular mage attack, so he will be using that occasionally. I'm going to go ahead and get out of the way of that. Uh, I should just tank one of these just so you guys can see how much damage you're actually going to get hit for it. Uh, right there, it's not actually that much damage. I do have uh, pretty good gear on, so I'm taking a little bit less damage than you should have anticipate but it doesn't deal as much damage as the ranged people uh, but you can just slowly whittle him down he does have 20,000 health so it does take a little while when you're lower level to kill him but he does very little damage and it's very easy to kill him so that's all 20 waves again if you want to do the hard uh, essentially it's just seven waves they do bring people onto you a lot faster it's about the same number of people that you have to kill, but you are just killing them in 7 waves instead of 20. So obviously it's going to be a little bit harder. I would recommend if you are max combat just to do that. It only takes about 5 minutes to get all this experience. Now you get this reward book for doing that. Uh, I'm going to be using it on invention just due to the fact that I am currently working on getting 99 invention. But if you're using it on an ability that is already 99, I have a little calculator up here and you should be expecting uh, 77,000 experience for about five minutes worth of work it's very quick experience uh, if you're an Iron Man I would recommend using it on herb lore main accounts you could use it on basically any viable that is relatively slow uh, prayer is a decently expensive one as law as well as herb lore depending on the method that you're using uh, besides that, you could use it on a slower skill, such as fishing or something, if you don't appreciate those skills. Uh, again, I'm just going to be using it on invention and getting about 20,000 experience. Yeah, 21,000 there. Uh, it's not as much as I could have gotten if I was using it on, first off, a non-elite skill. They do, uh, I believe all books do get halved by invention. Uh, I should just check here. Yep, invent or 73 skill should give you 42,000, but because it's an elite skill, it only gave me half experience. Uh, depending on what skill you use it on, it could go anywhere up to that 72,000, though. Uh, if you're actually using it on a 120 skill, with such as Dungeoneering, or when they come out within the future, Slaying, you can get up to about 120,000 experience. So, hopefully you all enjoyed this quick little guide, and you all learned something about to what to do monthly. If you enjoyed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. Leave a like and a comment if you so choose. This has been a Tech Tale production. Everybody have a good one.